Not in the United States of America, no. Never would I thought that they would let something like this happen to our kids. Flint residents continuing to deal with high levels of lead in the water and trying to keep their children safe. Thank you for joining us tonight at 530. I'm David Custer. And I'm Meg McClown. Concerns over the amount of lead exposure continues to be a major issue. Ronnie Duncan shows us how the city is educating its residents. I want to make sure that they don't have any lead in their system. Gloria Jones is like any grandmother living in Flint these days, surrounded by fear of the unknown. That's why she and her grandchildren took advantage of this free lead screening done at the YWCA sponsored by Molina Healthcare. Melina recognizes the apprehension little ones may have about drawing blood, but stressed the importance of more families bringing in their children for testing. That comes by way of communicating not only to the children, but to the parents about how important it is to learn about lead exposure and how to mitigate those effects. Here at Melina Healthcare, their approach is different when they test for lead. Sure, we've got a lot to be concerned about, but they want you to walk away knowing you're secure and make the experience fun. Fun. It makes them a little bit comfortable, removes that waiting room feel that some folks might have at other uh, sites. This makes them a little more comfortable. And then they know that when they come, when they're finished with the, the very quick finger stick test, they can come right back in and go back to having fun. The atmosphere is delightful. And for any child or adult, it's a room with plenty of activities, treats, and information that includes free filters and, of course, water. And according to Miss Jones, grandbabies, it's nothing to worry about. Don't be a pay. It was fine. Okay. And it doesn't hurt if it helps in the total education. That is a valuable tool for any parent or grandparent. And if they do, I'll know what to do and how to take care of it, you know, what to look for. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM TV 5 News at 530. The free screenings were for any child under the age of six, which is one of the most at-risk age groups.